In this video, we're going to show you how to make customizations to the Word font styles that come with the Proposal Pack documents and documents created through the Proposal Pack wizard. This makes use of a standard Word feature called Word Styles that's available in any Word document. We're going to illustrate this with our architecture number three design theme. Now this will work with all of our hundreds of Proposal Packs. So to start, we'll show you a pre-made document right out of one of the proposal packs. Now this is a Word document that has boilerplate text, a graphic design theme, headers and footers, subheaders and so on. Now all of this text, the body text, the subheaders, headers, has word styles applied to them. Now we've pre-made a number of styles, like this one's proposal get body text. And if you look at the word style, it's set to Times New Roman. So say what I want to change all of the text in this style across the entire document instantly we can just do it here. Say we want to change all of our body text to open sans. Now you'll see all of the body text in the entire document has changed to open sans across every single page. Now we can do the same thing with these subheaders and so on. Now we're going to show this using one of our graphic design themes so you can see the difference between text in word format versus our page headers. See when I click this page header services provided, it's actually a graphic. All of our graphic design themes with custom fonts and logos have the these headers in graphics. That means they can't be edited directly. Now using our proposal pack for any business design theme. These will already be in text that can be directly edited. So we're showing this using a graphic design theme because one of the things we're going to show you in a moment is how to use our wizard to replace these graphics with text so that you can make both text changes and typography changes. Another common thing that people will do when they're making a font change is they're usually going to be importing their own logo too. Like these stock logos like we have right here, a lot of companies will want to put their own logo in the page headers. So part of this video is going to show that customization at the same time as making font changes through our wizard. So this is how you change typography in any of our documents using word styles. Every piece of text in every proposal pack document, whether it's a contract pack or proposal pack, our template library, our pre-assembled proposal business plan documents, every piece of text has word styles applied to it that we've pre-made into all the documents. That lets you quickly change the typography by just modifying the associated word styles here. Another way you can see the list, all of our custom word styles have proposal kit in the title. So proposal kit body text, that's all of this body text. And other parts of the document will have special styles. Like when we use tables, we're going to want some light colored text so we have some styles designed for that, and so on. Okay, so now we're going to show you how to do this all through the wizard more automated. So we've loaded our Architecture 3 design theme, and we're going to make one customization to the style itself. So we'll click that button 1, Document Styles, whatever design theme you have purchased, 
and it could be any one of these hundreds of design themes, whichever one you purchased will be your default style. So click the edit style. Come over to the graphics tab. And this checkbox here, replace page header graphics with text. You can check that. Now when you generate your Word documents in the wizard, the wizard will replace those graphics at the top of every page header, which like we showed you, executive summary, cost summary, and so on, that have those page headers and graphics with a logo, it will replace those with text versions. Those text versions can then be completely customized. One thing that will happen when you do this though is that little logo in front of our headers will also disappear because the logo and the text are part of the same graphic. So we will show you how to get your company logo in there instead as part of this video. Okay, now that we've made this change, the next change we'll make is clicking the preferences button. Come to the data and display tab, click the font styles button. Now all of those custom word styles that we showed you in that document are all defined right here in the wizard's database. So say in that example we showed you how to change the body text from Times New Roman to Open Sans. So by using the screen we're basically doing what you can do on the Word document using Word Styles menu. Our wizard is basically going to apply these same changes, but it'll do it automated for you. Okay, so we're going to scroll down. We'll change it from Times New Roman to Open Sans. And we'll want to set font color. Notice in this design theme we were using a brownish color. Whenever you make changes to one of the styles, click the Save button. Now let's change our headers. Headers are going to default to being an Arial. We use Times New Roman and Arial as our default fonts because we know everybody's computer will have those font styles. Whatever font styles you use, you do have to have installed on your computer. So. If you have a particular font type you want to use, maybe your website developer had used a specific font type on your website and you want that same font type on your documents. As long as you install those font types on your computer, then you can access them through this dropdown. One thing that looks good in the Word documents is if you have a font type you've used for, say, your company logo, your, on your business card, your website, setting our headers to that same font type will give you a look in the documents that will match your other collateral material better. So we're going to use Open Sans Semi Bold in this case. We'll show you in a moment. We've created a custom logo we're going to import, and in our fictional example here, we've used Open Sans Semi Bold as our company's main font type. So we want our headers in the document to use the same font type. Okay, so we've skipped ahead and updated all of our font types. So now to see what your font types will look like, you can click this Show Samples of Styles button. And this is just going to generate a quick little example Word document applying all of our 
custom word styles now so you can see what each will look like. So to make it easier, you can see for our Architecture 3 design theme, it actually pulled in the background color here so you can see your font types against that. And you'll see our Open Sans semi-bold for headers, our subheaders, our body text is Open Sans. So you'll see we've changed our URLs to be a gold color instead of a blue hyperlink. And we are ready to use our font types. So that's all there is to it. You make your changes to the screen and that will cause the wizard to apply those word styles to the document when it generates new documents. save our preferences. Now we're going to show one extra little thing here where we're going to use the wizard to also replace the graphic in those page headers with our own. Now there are other videos and that will show this in more detail. But in our My Graphics folder in the wizard, there's a README instruction manual, there's examples in these folders, but we've created two custom graphics that are using the same color scheme and the sizing to match our Architecture 3 design theme, and we've named them according to our instructions in our README. Our fictional company here is called Lauder Architecture, so we've made a custom graphic. This is the logo for our company. And we've created a small square version. And this is sized the same size as the stock graphic that was in that Architecture 3 design theme. The wizard will swap out the stock graphics with our custom graphic. This customization will usually go hand in hand with making font changes. So all we have to do is create a couple graphics, put them in this My Graphics folder according to the instructions with the correct sizing and file types and file names, and the wizard will automatically do everything else for you. Now this is an expert level wizard feature though. So now we are ready to generate documents in the wizard and the wizard will do all the font in those custom graphic changes. All right, so we'll create a document project. Now we're going to pick the templates we want for this. We're just going to use the quick start here because we already have an architectural services layout. We'll just select that, import the topics. Now we have 19 pages that are going to get built into our proposal. We're ready to generate a document. Now as the wizard is generating this document, it will be applying all those custom word styles and it will be swapping in our two custom graphics. Okay, now our document is generated. And you can see our word styles here have all been updated to our new font types. And you can see even our URLs are, have been changed in the color. The font types are all open sans for the body text. And you can see how it's swapped in our logo in place here on the title page. And all of our page headers now are editable text with our custom logo swapped in. So you can see how the wizard swapped in this logo. Now you can see the old original logo 
is still here. So this same feature, if we had created additional logos, we could have replaced this one, we could replace the bullet point graphics, the watermark graphic back here, the title page and background graphics are all swappable using this same thing we showed you where you can swap in this graphic. So that is how you change font types across all of your documents, including generated ones from the wizard. Let us know what you think in the comments below and click subscribe to keep up on the latest proposal writing tips with Proposal Kit.